Welcome soul visionaries and potential soul visionaries. I am your host Sherrod Cohen and you are now rocking with the Soul Vision Powercast, a place where we keep it unfiltered and raw. We talk about anything from porn to politics. We'll even talk about that shit you might have even heard or even saw. Now today we're going to talk about paternity fraud. Paternity fraud. P-A-T-E-R-N-I-T-Y. Fraud. You know, that's that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, I've had conversations with folks on mandatory DNA testing, and this is one of the reasons. Let's kick it. Today, we're talking about paternity fraud, and this is coming from the immigration DNA testing online.com. You know, DN, uh, I think it's immigration DNA testing and paternity testing services, I-D-T-O. So today we're talking about paternity fraud. And hey man, we're just going to kick it. That's, that's all it is. You know, should should we have mandatory DNA testing? Yes, we should have mandatory DNA testing, you know, for a number of reasons. Paternity fraud is just one reason. Another reason could be medical reasons. You know, when you have a child, you know, you want to know what he or she may possibly inherit from the other parent. So DNA testing would 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 help out help out immensely with something like that you feel me but today we're going to talk about paternity fraud and you know we're going to discuss what it is and how often it happens and you know hopefully y'all will kick it with me in the comments section what is paternity fraud paternity fraud is a term used when a woman falsely chooses a man knowingly and designates him as the biological father of her child even though he is not Normally, when these situations occur, it is financially motivated. Now, they're asking, okay, first of all, paternity fraud. What is it? What is paternity fraud? Okay, we already talked about a woman just choosing a man randomly because she wants to. And the thing is, and I'm I'm going to jump to this article over here. I'm going to put both articles in the description down below. And and what it says is... Uh, a mother can also a mother can easily commit paternity fraud when applying for welfare she simply needs to list a father's name and last name last known address she could provide a fake address so that when the man will not be so the man will not be notified and won't be able to show up to court in that case, a default judgment is handed down and he is on the hook for child support. While it is staggeringly easy to commit paternity fraud, proving you are the victim is extremely difficult. Many states have even declared that DNA tests alone aren't enough to vacate a paternity order. Proving fraud requires proving that the mother knew you were not the father, that she told you that you weren't the father and that you signed the acknowledgement based on her statement. Gathering all of the evidence is a tall task, particularly if the mother is not cooperative. So even though you, you know, even though what happens is men wait too long to do a DNA test. Brothers, y'all got to get out here and get these DNA tests done before you know, before you start signing anything, you got to get these DNA tests. Now, is paternity fraud illegal? Well, fraud is illegal. Unfortunately, when it comes to establishing paternity, many, if not the majority of men who have proven they were misled and seek retribution have fallen short in court. The problem for most of these men is finding enough evidence that the mother intentionally misled the alleged father into believing he is the biological father of her child. Another issue men have is waiting for years to perform a DNA test. It may be in a man's best interest to perform a paternity test soon after the child is born. Due to the lack of evidence presented in court by the alleged father, most of the time, Mothers are seldom prosecuted for their fraudulent behavior. Hence, the reason so many men are supporting children that are not biologically related to themselves. So, that's what I'm saying. DNA testing up front would curb a lot of this right off the bat. It'll free most of you dudes up. Man, if you, even if you don't have a doubt in your mind that that's your child, at least do a DNA test to see, hey, what 
what issues your child may have inherited, you know, and then you just never, you never know, you know, like they said, mama's babies, papa's babies. Let's ride. Now they, they ask, can I sue a mother for lying about paternity? Yes. Yes. It is possible you can sue the mother, but you will have to have strong evidence. She intentionally deceived you. In the event you win your court case here in, uh, in Iowa, in an Iowa case, they ruled in favor of the alleged father. The Supreme Court stated that the mother committed fraud by misleading the alleged father into believing he was the father of the child. During that court, during their court case, the alleged father was fighting for custody and the mother requested genetic testing to be performed. And then they got a, they got the whole, um, they got the whole case here, but I'm not going to read the whole case. So you can win sometimes, but it's hard to win. Like they said, you got to prove that she lied to you intentionally. And then on this one is how common is paternity fraud? And here are some of the stats. Paternity fraud is very common in the United States and around the world. According to the American Association of Blood Banks, a research report was submitted by accredited parentage laboratories. The results show three out of every 10 men tested were found not to be the biological father. There were about 300,000 DNA paternity testing cases analyzed and roughly 100,000 men have deemed not the father. I wondered how many of those 100,000 was on Maury. Anyway, it is important to note the DNA results submitted to the, for this study were legal DNA testing results. No peace of mind DNA tests as part of this uh, study. In, other, in another study by the International Journal of Epidemiology and Health, one out of every 25 men worldwide will raise another man's child and not know it. These are some of the more recent statistics regarding paternity cases of men not being the biological father. Now, the thing is, men have to be more proactive. You know, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a pride thing. I don't know if men feel like this is not a child. He just don't want to make ways with the mother in case the, the child is his. Now he got to deal with whatever the situation may be. You have to do a DNA test in the beginning. And quite frankly, that's the, that's something you all should talk about and get it out the way. So it's not, it doesn't come as a shock or anything like that. Talk to the woman before y'all even procreate a child. It's like, look, I want to have a DNA test up front, you know, flat out. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody will, will jump in your face like, well, you don't trust her. You don't this and this and that. Hey, you never know what will happen. You know, and to be totally honest with you, you know, in some cases, men will find out and still say, oh, it, it, it don't matter. He'll take care of the child anyway. But give that man the option of a DNA test without him or, you know, just give him the option without him even ever asking and see if he takes it. You know what I'm saying? And if, if, if he doesn't take it and it winds up not being his child and he's on the hook for child support for a child that isn't his, all right, that's his fault. Now, has anyone won paternity fraud cases? Yes, there have been men who have won cases in court for paternity fraud. Below are a few references you can review. Uh, Department of Human Resources versus Browning, Langston versus Lock Lear, 1999, USA versus Christensen, and Batroni versus Batroni, 1991. These are a few cases that fraud was proven. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's, it's, it can be proven. I mean, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta have a DNA test. And like I say, a DNA test, it's just more, it's, 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 it's not just about paternity fraud. It's about the health of the child as well, you know, and how bad is it for a child to one day wake up and just wonder, just look at this man who was supposed to be his or her father. And it just, he or she doesn't feel right. You know, it's like, 10, 11, 12 years old, or sometimes in their um, 20s, you know, late 20s and 30s, finding out that, damn, hold on, this man that raised me was not my father. So who is my father? 
you know, now there's a huge void. There's a huge chunk of this person missing, you know, and I think it's very selfish for a mother to not want their child to know who the biological father was or is. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, this just this just was a really quick, you know, one hit a quitter, no bullshitter for the fellas out there, man. Paternity fraud is a very big thing. It's usually motivated by money. You know, sometimes a woman can do it just to get on welfare in, 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 some, in a lot of instances. And there, there was a case in Michigan where a woman did do it. Uh, let me see if I could find that real quick lie. Okay, uh, the guy name was Carnell Alexander, Michigan man who was held responsible for $30,000 of missed child support payments for a child that DNA test proved wasn't his. And I remember following this on the news, it was here in Detroit. He was locked up. She just threw his name down. And then she even came out and said, yo, I just signed his name, this and that and the other, it's not his child. Man, the state was still trying to make him pay the arrearages. And see, the thing with that money, you know, from what I've been reading, uh, states get money for child support. They get, the, they get matched for the amount of money that um, child, of, of child support is paid. So they don't want to let you off the hook because that fucks with their money. You know, you see what I'm saying? So this, this is about money. This is not, this is not about the well being of the child or the mother. This is just about the state getting that extra funding. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta get out here, man. Y'all gotta get, y'all gotta get in front of this before it, it drags on for some years. And then you trying to prove that a child is or isn't yours, but then something's wrong. I mean, something go wrong because now it's like, yeah, you might prove that child wasn't yours, but damn, you don't, you don't, you don't made a connection. You, you love this child and the whole nine yards. And that's heartbreaking. And I've seen a lot of men break down crying on different videos, paternity courts and this and that and the other, just breaking down crying, man, finding out that the child that he loved is not his. And then you have a mother standing over there just like, oh, well, so what? I know who the father is. Brothers, get a DNA test, man. It, you know, before you sign a birth certificate, get a DNA test. Like they say, mama's babies, papa's babies. Yo, if you like the video, man, get you know hit that like button, man. If you're not a soul visionary, subscribe, please. And if you liked it and you subscribed it and you subscribe to it and you just, you know, like the content and think somebody else could benefit from it, hey, man, just share it. That's all I ask, man. You know, peace.